All right, this is my new chicken coop door that I designed after having some trouble with a couple of the ones that you can get online. Uh, the main difference between this door and the ones that you see often online is that it's controlled by this linear actuator here. The nice part about the linear actuator is that when it extends down, the door can't be lifted back up. Um, so raccoons and varmints can't force their way through it. Uh, you don't need any kind of locking mechanism then to hold it shut when it's closed. The other difference is that uh, instead of having the wooden door slide through a wooden channel, I got these cheap cabinet slides uh, from Lowe's. You can also get them at Home Depot or wherever, but these are the cheap, they call them European kind, and they just have these nylon wheels so that uh, they work if they get wet. Uh, if you get the kind that have bearings in them, you know, you risk getting dirt and grime and rust in those bearings. <clears throat> So this actuator is controlled by these two timers and a little circuitry I made. So you can see you got an open timer and a closed timer. Since it's open now, we'll do a, do a test. In 10 seconds, this thing will fire up and shut for us. So the actuator has got a limit switch for both open and close. So you don't have to worry about any kind of switch to put in it. Uh, you just have to make sure you don't get an actuator that's got um, a whole lot of force to it. I believe this one is only 8 pounds, so it won't hurt a chicken. It's also slow, so they can get out of the way as, as, things, as it comes down. We'll go ahead and open it back up for them. And these are just two deer timers. Um, you set the time on each and their wires run through re two relays that send the power from the battery to the door. Cool, thanks.